An hour ahead of commemoration of International World Peace Day 2023, Christian Muslim clerics and other peace stakeholders is called on Nigerians to promote peaceful coexistence, tolerance and mutual understanding for growth and development of the nation. They met the call at a one-day peace dialogue with both religious leaders and civil society organizations with the aim to those violence tension and promote peace in Kaduna. Speaking the Interfaith Mediation Center Kaduna Reverend Beatrice Dangiwa says peace is panache to development of community and noting individuals must make efforts and show peace prevail Kaduna state and nation. This is not just changing people, making people that we dance and go around, but we want to change to see that our society become a better place for us to live. Remember, nobody can change the society the way we want if you don't change yourself. So I think that we need to change ourselves. It is we keep blaming the country, but many times we talk negative about our nation. I look at myself. What are people saying concerning me? And I think it would be good to start reflecting that way. You help us to think positively that the little I do, the little you do, the little every one of us do, can change our society. The religious clerics say there is need for both religion to imbibe peace and tolerance with one another. They advocate for peace curriculum in schools to teach students to love another, one another, irrespective of religion. While the civil society and peace stakeholders called on religious leaders to shun hate speech and inciting messages that promote violence among their congregants, but preach peace, love and unity for all. It's important for us as a nation to start from the grassroots. Where's the grassroots? One of our logo is that if you don't teach your child, if you don't teach your child peace, someone hands somewhere will teach them violence. We need to start from the grassroots. The grassroots is to go to see how can we introduce peace education into our various schools. It's very, it's very important to in our curriculum. That's why I'm trying to advise the Cardinal Peace Commission to, in, to reintroduce this peace education curriculum into our very school. Let, them, let our children know the importance of peace. Let our children know the importance of living together. It is very, very important. As a Christian student, you should not see your fellow Muslim as your enemy. As a Muslim, Muslim student, you should not see your Christian as a fellow, as a fellow, uh, as a fellow uh, enemy. It's not good. Let us start from grass too. If you can start from our children of today, of nowadays, I'm telling you the truth. Their time will not be like us. Turn ourselves. We need to cooperate with one another. We need to love one another. And by what we have deliberated in our sitting today, I believe that if we can go back to our various communities and put into practice what we have discussed today, great peace shall be achieved. As a religious leader also, see how I'm going to mobilize my people and also bring them together in order to reach out to other people that are not even Christians on the importance of peace. Why we should have peace in our communities? Because I know without peace, I as a pastor, I won't be able to get my members to come to church. I, without peace, I as a pastor, I won't be able to stand upon my altar and preach the gospel. I as a pastor, I need peace because without peace, even in my own family, I will not be able to govern my family so as a clergyman as a pastor my plan is after today i will begin to work towards seeing how i can inculcate in my members the importance of peace in their life we call on the religious leaders as we are starting it today we know how it's very important how religion is to our country we know what it is to us so if our people can buy it from the religious angle definitely our messages will get to the grassroots and once again we want to say you see those little, little preaching you're doing in your places of worship, it goes a long way in transforming the minds of our people. Because most times there is always reference to what this pastor said or what this imam said. Always appreciate it when Christians help to understand how the Muslims operate. We always appreciate it when the Muslims understand how the Christians operate. So you don't need to infringe, you don't need to step into other people's territory. But when they say it, you understand that this is how we operate, this is how we operate, and we really move together but we can't do that without dialoguing we can't do that without the United Nations set aside 21 September every year mark International World Peace Day to promote peaceful coexistence tolerance in conflict societies hello 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.